Hey there, my friends. Welcome to Patreon. I think this is really, really related to the video I just did on Sarah Huckabee Sanders being tossed out of the Red Hen restaurant in Virginia and the gay couple not getting the wedding cake baked for them and just this overwhelming unkindness. There's just this bad juju going around all over the place right now. And I'm just trying to put my finger on it. It's about 150 degrees in my studio and I'm sweating because it's... it's 10.30 in the morning, and it's already 95 degrees outside. It's ridiculous, so I'm hot. I'm sorry. I'm sweating. I'm passionate. I'm sweating. I'm hot. I'm sweating. People are just so unkind to each other, and I think a lot of this stems from people just wanting to be in everybody else's effing business. Just step back. It doesn't mean anything to you if two men sleep together. It's nothing to you. They're not calling you into an orgy. They're not asking you for a threesome. They're not asking to talk to your children about it. Uh, it means nothing to you, so just leave it alone. If two women want to sleep together, if two men want to go swimming with dolphins uh, 500 feet below the water in scuba gear, it's none of your business. So just stay out of it, okay? Now we have another video that has surfaced of a woman who's dubbed Permit Patty. And you can look for the hashtag, Permit Patty. It's this fuddy-duddy woman in San Francisco who is apparently calling the police on an eight-year-old girl. What is the eight-year-old girl doing? Is she shitting on the street like people do in San Francisco? Is she in a gang? Is she graffitiing a building? What is she doing? She's selling water bottles in front of her own house because she's trying to raise money to go to Disneyland. And now there's video of this woman. They're turning it into a race thing. I think it's an asshole thing. I don't think it's a white versus black, black versus white. I think people are just assholes out there in record numbers. And I'm just saying it like it is. Sorry for the tough language. It is what it is. So they're, unfortunately, it's a white woman and a black child. So they're turning it into racism and all this other stuff. So you could do with that what you will. I'm not turning it into a racism thing. I'm turning it into an assaholic thing. Okay. Video of a white woman allegedly calling the police on a young black girl who was selling water bottles in San Francisco has gone viral. Now, the child's mother, Erin Austin, posted the video on her Instagram account. And you can look for this video. I'm not going to play it for you right now. Although, you know what? I will. I'll play the audio. I'm not going to switch the cameras around. It's too hard right now. Um, so the woman's kind of hiding from the camera, from the cell phone camera, because she doesn't want to be on camera. Austin, who recently lost her job, told all the moms, it's a blog that she's on or something, that her eight-year-old daughter, Jordan, was trying to raise money because she wanted to go to Disneyland. Jordan was selling water bottles outside the family's apartment building, which is across the street from AT&T Stadium, where the Giants were playing. Funny, we just had our friend Stephanie, who will, will remain nameless. She and her son, who will remain nameless. Travis just left our house about 20 minutes ago to go to the Giants game today. So they're going to be right across the street from where this happened. Um, Jordan was selling the water bottles outside the family's apartment building, across from AT&T Park. Caught off guard when um, Attell approached 8-year-old Jordan for a permit... Austin told the blog that she intervened. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water, Austin can be heard saying. She's calling the police on an eight-year-old little girl. Attell then ducks behind a brick structure, appearing to hide from the camera. Austin follows her with the camera, telling her the whole world is going to see her. She says it's going to go viral. Um, Edel says the little girl is illegally selling water without a permit. She makes this face where she's like, selling water without a permit? Oh my God. Really? There's crackheads in San Francisco. There's heroin junkies in the BART stations when your kids are going to school. There's people literally taking shits in the middle of the sidewalk. A little girl selling water? Oh, my God. Has anyone checked her papers? Does she have a permit to do that? This reminds me of the quilt man of Lincoln, where I live, in Lincoln, California. We, I talked to you about this story. You know about it, so I'm not going to dwell on it. But it was about the 70-something-year-old man whose wife was being treated for cancer. And he was selling quilts to raise money for her treatment. And um, they shut him down. The police shut him down. While we have crackheads walking the freeways with no shirts and no shoes, toothless and dangerous, many of them armed with knives and with guns and causing problems in the community, breaking into backyards and taking baths in people's swimming pools, breaking into cars for crack money. Uh, and they go after this old man, right? It's kind of the same thing here. San Francisco has all sorts of problems. I don't see this woman calling in heroin junkies. I don't see her calling in people taking craps in the middle of the street dropping a deuce in the middle of AT&T Park. They're not doing any of that. So she goes, this little girl is selling water without a permit. 
Now, it's unclear whether she's speaking to the cops or to Austin. It sounds like she's talking to Austin, not to whoever's on the phone. Austin says, on my property, and the woman responds, it's not your property. In the video caption, she asked people to make the woman go viral under the hashtag Permit Patty. Hashtag Permit Patty. Now, as of this morning, the video has had more than 864,000 views, and hashtag Permit Patty is trending on Twitter right now. Um, and again, they're trying to turn it into this race thing because there's been a lot of incidents in the last few days or weeks where white people have called the police on black people in coffee shops, public parks, and things like that. Um, Austin's cousin, Reji Lee, who posted about the incident on Twitter, said her cousin was gifted four tickets to Disneyland by a man who heard about the story. She posted a video to Twitter of her cousin's elated response. Austin said she and her family have received a large amount of positivity and support. For her part, Adele told, also told Huffington Post that she had only pretended to call the police. When asked about Attell telling Huffington Post she felt bad about the situation, Austin told USA Today she didn't accept any apology. She did it to herself, she said. And some people are just miserable human beings. This permit patty, I could see it in her face. She is a miserable human being. Anybody who would call the police on an eight-year-old girl at AT&T Park where there's, my God, there's people shooting needles right there on the street. There's all sorts of there's public defecation. There's all these problems. There's gangs in San Francisco. There's shootings every day. All this stuff's happening. And this woman's on the phone, presumably reporting an eight-year-old girl for selling water bottles, really, so that she can go to Disneyland. Is that like the biggest problem on this woman's mind? Is this the biggest problem in her heart? Why are our hearts so black? Why are they so awful? Why are they so evil? Why are they so dark? Why do we have so much darkness inside of us, my friends? We really need to ask ourselves this. Where does this darkness come from? And why are some people just the epitome of Ebenezer Scrooge, honestly? You know what I would have done? I, if I saw this girl there, and if I could swing it, I'd buy the whole damn lot of the waters. I'd buy all the waters and then let let her keep the water so she could sell them again. That's what I would have done. I wouldn't have even, it wouldn't even have been an afterthought in my head to call the police or the authorities or even to bitch and moan about an eight-year-old girl trying to raise money to go to the happiest place on earth. From the happiest place on earth, Disneyland, to the most miserable place on earth, this permit Patty's heart. Big, big difference, huh? In the energy of the two. What do you think? I'm Spencer Hughes. This is Patreon, and I thank you for being here.